Mirno, we're back. We're here again. It's so good to see you. It's great to see you too, Kent. Thanks for having me on. Oh, absolutely. So we've got a couple of really exciting things that have happened over the last, well, it's been several months, hasn't it? It's been about four months since we last talked. And um, Indeed, yeah. Time yeah. flies. <laughs> And, and I mean, I know that you and Casper have been going through a ton of growth, a ton of new strategic partnerships, a ton of changes and adoption, uh, really exciting. Uh, and you're finding yourself in an exciting moment in time. Would you like to share a little bit with us about kind of what's exciting and going on for you in the world of enterprise blockchain? Absolutely. And I think it it really coincides well with what you guys at OpenEXO are doing around artificial intelligence. Uh, really excited to say we're co-developing our first SaaS product with IBM Consulting, which is an AI governance tool. The collaboration IBM and Casper Labs are doing allows you to monitor and build a, a multi-organizational workflow that manages third-party risk, that shows compliance, auditability and trust, and finally, version control. Which really brings the best of what blockchain can offer to ensuring that companies get AI ready um, in terms of the governance aspect of using AI that is being compliant with the EU AI Act, the ISO 42001 standard. And uh, on Wednesday, uh, the 22nd of May, I'll be co-presenting alongside Dinesh Nirmal, who's the SVP of product at IBM, uh, talking about our roadmap and what we're doing. And we're so excited to be part of the OpenEXO community because I think we can really accelerate how enterprises and governments become AI ready, especially in the spate of regulation and laws that are being passed recently. That's fantastic. And, you know, we just launched this new product, AI Ready, which we look at as kind of a portal into becoming an exponential organization because one of the attributes is algorithms and artificial intelligence. And we're finding a tremendous uptake of that in terms of interest in the market. We just launched it last week in Las Vegas. So we don't have a lot of data yet, but we do have a lot of inbound requests. And in fact, honestly, when we pick up the phone and we talk to people, hey, do you want to be an EXO? They're like, yeah, how do I do AI? <laughs> so, right. you know, that is it. I bet you're experiencing something similar uh, with your blockchain related uh, spaces at Casper. Yes, we're, we're seeing exactly the same thing because... I think we all agree that AI is going to be similar to, you know, cloud computing or the industrial revolution in the sense that it's going to be a step change in how organizations and technology at large develops. And people are really concerned about how do they govern this underlying explosion in technology now that Moore's law has finally caught up with deploying AI. We're at this really unique moment where processing power is now compliant with the needs of underlying AI systems. And given the massive opportunity for operational efficiency, revenue gains, et cetera, we're at a pivotal moment, uh, both in terms of our organizations, but humanity and technology at large. And it's really exciting that both our organizations are at the forefront of this. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't agree more. And one of the really exciting things we did together was we recently launched the Enterprise Blockchain course. So have you had a chance to get in there, look at it and play with it yet? I have had a chance to look at it and play with it. Uh, I will okay. admit I did not do a comprehensive review, but <laughs> I did look at it and I'm very, very impressed uh, with how it looks. I awesome. think it's a game changer, especially if we think about how blockchain has been talked about historically, a lot of the focus has been on speculative interest, monkey pictures, et cetera, et cetera. And this is really a collection of very, very astute and well put together documentation that shows the real power of this technology in real world use cases like supply chain, fintech, and of course, AI governance. Well, this was done together. Uh, we, our teams and your teams actually spent months going through and going through the content and going through the delivery and going through and our, our, our teams created loads of animations to try to explain things like public and private keys. You know, this is not always easy for people to pick up and, and, and learn quickly. And I, I just, I'm really proud of the joint effort we put out. I think it speaks volumes to what we're going to be able to do together. 
I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, I've been very pleased with the partnership. I think uh, given both of us have a very long term and a very long term focus and the fact that we really like to hone in on the fundamentals of the underlying technology makes us incredibly compatible partners. And I've been yeah. really excited about how we've been working. Well, that new course is live on the OpenEXO Learning Hub. Uh, it looks like in the couple of weeks, it's only been live a couple of weeks since it went out. We didn't even announce it yet. So we just put it there to see what would happen from a soft launch. Um, 62 people have taken it. And it's my understanding that as of yesterday, something like 14 have um, have completed the course completely. Now, I'm not in that boat. I think I'm on the third module, <laughs> like 10 minutes at a time since I started getting in there. But it's it's been very well received. So uh, again, kudos to your team, kudos to our team. I I, I just couldn't be uh, more happy with how that went. Um, and the next thing I'd like to talk about is one of the things that really initially brought us together. So you know we talk about blockchain all the time. I, you know blockchain does not equal crypto. We all understand this. I think at least on this call and in, in this party, especially anybody who takes that course is going to understand that very clearly. However. OpenEXO has had its own um, cryptographic token uh, for quite some time, since 2018, uh, called EXOS. And we went on a long search, and this is the subject of a video that we did about four months ago that's out on the OpenEXO YouTube channel. Yeah. We went on a long search to find you <laughs> and your team in order to find a new home for the EXOS token from its current L1 home-baked, home-built, home-run blockchain to the Casper network. And the really exciting news is that about two weeks ago, uh, it was code complete and we started testing and we have continued that testing. We've already moved a number of tokens through the portal to make sure it does everything it's supposed to do. Nobody gets lost, no tokens get lost. And it is scheduled to go live on, okay, listen, you know, you know how it is when you give out dates, something could happen five minutes from now that I don't know. Yeah but it's scheduled to open on May 15th. Uh, and I have pre-announced that in the various channels and that is super exciting. So the first million new XOXO on Casper as the successor to XOs exist. And that's really exciting. That, that really is very exciting. I, I love it when the rubber hits the road. I mean, we've yeah. been talking about this for a long time. It's largely been theoretical and code for a long time. Uh, but watching it actually happen out in the wild is a very satisfying experience because yeah. it, it does show that all the work that was put behind this is actually culminating in an event. So very excited. And we're just getting started on our long journey together. I think it would be really interesting for folks to know that one of the things that made this possible uh, was a very generous grant from the Casper Foundation. So Mirnal, maybe you could explain a little bit how the Casper Foundation is supporting growth in crypto and, you know, even supporting organizations like OpenEXO and communities like OpenEXO with these types of endeavors and how that blends a little bit with Casper Labs. Absolutely. The Casper uh, Association, which is very similar to a foundation, um, is our nonprofit arm uh, based out of Switzerland, similar to us based out of Switzerland. We are, of course, the for-profit arm. We, we design the technology and we interact with enterprises. The Casper Association is doing a really, really good job of finding really fundamental use cases of using underlying blockchain technology to help coordination processes, to help organizations like OpenEXO uh, get off the ground and solve their technical challenges. I'd say amongst uh, the grants that the Casper Association has given out, uh, this is one of them that I'm most excited about because OpenEXO is an organization we've been a fan of for a really, really long time. Uh, it's always fun to get to work with people that you've been a fan of. And so probably, you know, amongst all the grants, it's one that's very near and dear to my heart since I've been directly involved uh, in that process. That's awesome. Well, thank you again for the grant to the Casper Association. Uh, it made it possible, honestly. It, we would have had a really tough time doing it otherwise. And I think that our community is really excited. I can tell you uh, 27 messages from one particular member yesterday <laughs> asking, when is it ready? When is it ready? So we, we do have some pent up uh, demand and excitement there. And, and we'll see how that goes. And downstream, uh, we will be deeply integrating the Casper token into the OpenXO platform 
as a payment mechanism. And that's fun too. So we see that coming and in all kinds of other options. So uh, Mirnal, is there anything else that you would like to share with the OpenEXO community, uh, with you know viewers on our various channels and all the places where parts of this video will go uh, about Casper, about OpenEXO, about anything that's on your mind, state of the world, uh, it could be anything. Just a couple of things. First, I just want to reiterate that we're very excited to be partners with OpenEXO. We view this as a fundamental, foundational, long-term partnership. We're just getting started. I would not view what's happened as the end state. I would view this as the first steps we're taking together as an organization to really transform exponential organizations. And secondly, really excited that the stars are aligning, uh, given the AI Ready initiative at OpenEXO and the groundbreaking work that we're doing with IBM on AI governance. There is a lot of synergy for the OpenEXO community. And we really look forward to bringing you more updates on that end and really look forward to working together to bring about world changing effects via these exponential technologies. That's awesome. And just ditto to that. You said it beautifully. Uh, let's go get, let's go do some shows together. Let's, let's, uh, let's get out there and, and tell the world what we've done. I think they're waiting for us. So thank you, Marino. Thank you very much, Kent. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like it. The YouTube algorithm thinks you'll enjoy this video.